Hello. Um, I don't really know how to start this. I'm gonna make sure you can't see my face. All right. My name is Haley, um, and I'm in my mid thirties, and I've been trying to do this for weeks. Uh, get get my tech set up. I'm a little bit uh, behind the last time I was savvy. I think uh, I was in college, which is funny uh, because I do work in film and uh, TV, but very much behind the scenes. And um, I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, I am fat. <laughs> I'm a fat person. I don't know if you can tell from here up. I try very hard to uh, keep it contained. But uh, if I were to stand up right now, uh, you'd see me in some sleepy time shorts and um, some very thick ass legs. And that's okay. It's okay because it's my body and it's who I am. Um, and I've spent the last several years very much uh, in the body positivity uh, group. There's not one group. Community? I don't know. Twitter? Really Twitter. Let's be real. So I've been on Twitter uh, <laughs> with a lot of other uh, larger women. And I think I'd be lying. I lie to myself uh, a lot. That's that's very true. Um, I think I'd be lying if I said that I am happy with how I am right now. And I know that as a wo woman, and especially as a woman in the fat community, uh, we are all big for different reasons. Um, I, I don't know what all those reasons are, but like on, on one hand, it's a choice, some it's illness. Um, it just kind of builds over time. You know, there, there are a lot of reasons we got to this size and that we stay at this size. And there's part of me that really, really wishes that I was just really happy at the size I am. And, and I do want to lose weight um, because I'm not. I'm not happy at the size I am because unlike, I think, a lot of other people, I have to be honest with myself, um, the reason I'm large and I'm only ever speaking for me, like when I talk about being fat, this is something that only like applies to me and hopefully maybe resonates with someone else, which is part of why I want to do this. This is, this is part to hold me accountable and also maybe to to spark a conversation or find like a community of people who, who are on the same journey. Maybe we can help each other out, you know. Um, I am large uh, the way I am because I have genuinely not taken care of myself. It was always my last priority, uh, starting when I was like 11 or 12. Just did not care. Um, and I still kind of wish I couldn't care. But the reality is I live and work in Los Angeles. Um, I live and work in LA and you see I have the glasses like styled right now <laughs> trying to look my best uh, for my first video. It's not really how I dress every day. It used to be uh, a few years ago but it's hard um, to be taken seriously um, and I think more importantly not just for other people but it's hard for me to feel good um, about myself and present myself in an honest, confident manner. I really, I think, for a few years mastered, like, a fake confidence. Uh, uh, and, and it's not... It's not what I want for my life. Uh, never, I pulled off losing weight a few times. Um, and usually it was out of poverty or illness. Uh, back, I would say, like, three or four years ago, I lost a good amount of weight because I had an ulcer. And because I was being paid uh, under minimum wage. <laughs> Um, so put those two together and, and I, and I had a body that people were complimenting. Um, but that's not how, uh, I wanted to obtain it. And it, I didn't really feel good in my body at that point either because I was bleeding internally at all time. Uh, and so I think right now I'm facing some health issues, um, that I think might be familiar. I'm really have fought aging. <laughs> Um, I didn't move to LA until I was in my late twenties. Most of my friends are just turning 30 and I am a few years older than them. And I think it's starting to show, this is a high def camera, right? It's starting to show in my face. And I feel like I've lost out on a lot of career opportunities and a lot of interpersonal opportunities. Maybe some of my own fears just cause I didn't feel good, uh, myself. I didn't feel good in my own body. And also maybe because 
of judgment or preconceived biases other people have, which I don't think are good, and I think it's extremely important to smash uh, because fat people are people too. We have hopes and cares and talents and dreams, and we deserve to be treated as such. Um, and I want to be treated as such like that now. And if I happen to lose weight, I want to be treated the same. I hate part of part of what I hate uh, about losing weight, and part of what I think genuinely has stopped me more than just the science of it, the math of it, the actually having to eat less calories and like exercise more uh, to get down. Um, there is definitely like an emotional and psychological component to my weight and my weight loss that I think is bigger than the just counting calories because and just the exercise because I do exercise and I eat pretty healthy, probably more than I should eat. But if you were to actually see my meals, you'd be like, okay, I don't, I kind of don't understand what's going on here. Um, and so I'd really like to tackle that psychological component. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on YouTube uh, for other weight loss channels. I've watched a few um, that are great. Um, and they really, I think, cover the nutrition, the weighing in, the kind of like keeping track of yourself, holding yourself accountable, which is something that I think uh, would be amazing for me because if nobody's watching me, I'll just eat a brownie, like genuinely, <laughs> um, and be like, who cares? Why? Who cares? And you know, I need to care because uh, that's the problem. I've never cared. But I think more than that, when I start to lose weight, I do notice how the world treats me better. Um, differently. You're more visible. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, hooray, finally. But every time that happened for me, I was like, oh, hell no. How dare you? Like, I hated it. I hated how much different things were. 15 pounds difference, 20 pounds difference. Oh, God. And especially the few times I dipped into like 50, 60, 70 pounds difference. Uh, the, the way people talk to you, the way people interact with you, is night and day. Um, there's a, there's a, this American Life story you might be familiar with. It always really, really affects me. It's by, uh, I think, Elna Baker Barker. You think I would have looked it up beforehand? No. Uh, but it's, it's about a woman who was overweight in her early 20s, and she lost the weight, and she details sort of like this difference between being fat her and thin her and how accepted she was uh, as thin her in a way she never was before and sort of sort of how she struggles with that and sort of how the people around her who have always been thin uh, don't really get it but I think most of the women uh, women and men um, in the situation with that I'm in right now uh, maybe can relate um, and so I, do, I have no other excuses uh, about my weight other than I just did not, I did not care. Um, I was like, this is how I am, and it's fine. Um, but that's a lie. Um, it's a lie. I don't, I don't like it. Um, I think it's, uh, it has been a barrier between me and people that I was very happy to be there. It's been protective. Um, I used to think that only people who genuinely were interested in talking to me or genuinely liked me would be the ones to approach me, be the ones to try to defend me. And I also learned that uh, the weight doesn't actually protect you <laughs> from that even, um, even or either. And, and so those were all sort of false assumptions I had about my weight and why I kept it on. And, and I sort of, I don't know, I need help breaking past that barrier, I think. And I'd like to explore things. I'd like to explore why. Not only for me, but why why it kind of happens in general. I'd like to explore sort of what Elna talks about in that This American Life uh, clip about sort of like the differences, sort of like the emotional and psychological things that that contribute to weight as much as the obvious things that we often talk about that contribute to weight. So this is sort of like a learning experience for me. I it I do have someone to uh, uh, how do I talk? Uh, <laughs> I'm not an expert, obviously. This is something I'm going through myself. Uh, but also I have a lot of experience trying to learn about it. Um, and I have a uh, 
well, I just want to figure it out, and maybe we can figure it out together. So, oh, maybe we get a little less awkward, uh, just the thought of watching my face, especially my face talking, like, you can see my reflection right now, and I'm like, I don't like it. Uh, and I want to get used to it, um, because it's not just, I don't want to hide anymore, um, don't want to hide and not be on camera, not that I'm so desperate to be on camera either, but I think it's important to, uh, to, to tell both my and I think a lot of people's story to sort of explore different things that could be going on, happy to just to see what happens. Um, and also, please, dear God, to hold myself accountable. I think uh, you can see this right now. I'm just going to get up and, uh, and you'll see these terrible shorts, but to give you an idea of what my body looks like from the middle down. I'm very, oh my God, it's very, huh, you know, like, oh no, oh no. And it's funny because this is not where, I, where I'm starting. Like I have been spending the last month going to the gym three times weekly. Um, I exercise so much. I walked 20 miles last week, 20 miles, because I can walk to work, which is, by the way, a Los Angeles dream. Uh, it is two miles there, two miles back. That's four miles a day, five days a week. That is 20 miles. Um, and I don't think I lost any weight. And I ate salads. I ate salads for lunch and dinner those days, and I still, I don't think I lost any weight. Um, so I need, I need to get better. I need to get better at this. Maybe you can help me with that, and uh, maybe I can help with some other things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to make this face a lot until I get used to it. It's like, wow, I'm a crone. Um, it's just a defense, which I also want to learn about. Like, why? Why am I so, like, bleh? Because it's not just for the camera. It's when I'm, like, at work. And I'm sure that doesn't help me <laughs> get ahead either. Especially as a sophisticated woman in my mid-30s, where most of my peers have several children and a little bit more to show for themselves <laughs> than I do, other than these amazing Harry Potter glasses, which I will keep on as long as they let me have them. <laughs> this whispering, big guy. So let's try this out. Let's see what happens. It could be a failure. I don't know. We'll figure it out together. So thank you for maybe watching this video someday, three years from now. I don't know. And uh, let's see uh, what we can make. Thanks. Ooh, thanks. Thanks. Where can I?